One day, Sarah's martial arts instructor asked her to demonstrate a series of martial arts moves in front of the other students and the instructor. The instructor congratulated Sarah and said, you did great, Sarah. You should be proud of yourself for pushing yourself and taking on the challenge. The other students clapped and cheered for Sarah and she felt a sense of accomplishment and pride. The instructor then began to explain to the students the importance of building confidence and self-discipline when learning martial arts. Martial arts was more than just physical strength and that it was also important to develop mental and emotional strength. Hello and welcome back to another Warrior Academy podcast. Today we've got instructor Charlie delivering a mat chat for our students. So what is a mat chat? Well a mat chat is essentially what we do at the end of every single class in all of our Warrior Academy classes around the world. It's a little talk normally told through a story because we know that stories really help our students understand the point of the, what we're trying to achieve to help bring the lessons from the dojo to the home and school life. So every single week we do these mat chats and essentially it's all around one element of character development. So I'll now hand over to instructor Charlie, our head of character development for this week's mat chat. I hope you enjoy it. Hi there, my name is Master Charlie and in this week's mat chat topic, we are understanding the importance of confidence. Once upon a time, there was a young martial artist named Sarah. She was eager to learn and master the martial arts. She was determined and willing to put in the hard work and dedication required to develop her skills and build her confidence. One day, Sarah's martial arts instructor asked her to demonstrate a series of martial arts moves in front of the other students and the instructor. Sarah was very nervous and scared, but she did her best. After she had finished her demonstration, the instructor congratulated Sarah and said, you did great, Sarah. You should be proud of yourself for pushing yourself and taking on the challenge. The other students clapped and cheered for Sarah and she felt a sense of accomplishment and pride. The instructor then began to explain to the students the importance of building confidence and self-discipline when learning martial arts. He explained that martial arts was more than just physical strength and that it was also important to develop mental and emotional strength. He said that martial arts was a way to gain confidence in oneself and to be able to stand up for oneself in difficult situations. He then gave the students some tips on how to improve their confidence and self-discipline when learning martial arts. He said that they should be practicing regularly and be mindful of their thoughts and emotions when practicing. He also said that they should be mindful of their breathing and try to stay focused on the task at hand. Finally, the instructor said that they should always remember that martial arts is not about winning or losing, but rather it is about developing character and having the courage to stand up for what is right. Sarah was so inspired by her instructor's words that she went home and continued to practice and strive to improve her martial arts skills and her confidence. So the moral of this story is that with hard work, dedication and the right mindset, anyone can become a master of martial arts and gain the confidence they need to succeed in life. So to create three action points from this story, firstly, Practice regularly and be mindful of your thoughts and emotions when practicing. Be mindful of your breathing and try to stay focused on the task at hand. And finally, remember that martial arts is not about winning or losing, but rather it is about developing character and having the courage to stand up for what is right. I hope you enjoyed that mat chat from instructor Charlie. If you did enjoy it and you would like to make sure you never miss an episode, just subscribe to this podcast or subscribe to the YouTube channel and you'll get this episode every single week. We find that it really helps the students cement the lessons they learn from the dojo when they listen to these mat chats every single week. So I will see you at the next one. Take care.
I really hope you enjoyed today's Warrior Academy podcast episode. We're going to keep creating these episodes because I know that so many parents find them useful or get insights or get ideas about how to develop their child's character. But it all comes down to the three C's, confidence, conduct, and concentration. So if you want to get a deep insight into the levels of confidence your child has, the level of concentration they have, or the level of conduct they have, so that you can actually put a score next to it, and then work towards increasing those scores like we do in the Warrior Academy, then I'd love to invite you to fill in the breakthrough area assessment. It takes about five minutes of your time and you will get a personalized PDF report on your child's three C's. To access the breakthrough area assessment and find out your child's three C score, all you need to do is go to www.breakthrougharea.com.